I've opened up my latest version of Megan, which is the one that has her eye whites completed. So you can see over here on the layers, my top layer is that merge layer of where I finished off last time. Now we're going to do skin softening. So step one, duplicate that layer. Sitting on your eye whites copy, uh, go into filter and choose other and high pass. When you choose high pass, you're going to use a high pass of nine pixels and say, okay. And what this does is it's just sharpened like crazy that layer that we've done. And you can see all the, the sharpening of her skin texture and the hair, etc. Now we're going to go do some blurring. So go into filter and blur and give it a Gaussian blur. And when you give it a Gaussian blur, we used a high pass of nine. So we're going to divide nine by three and give it a Gaussian blur of three pixels. From there, we need to invert this layer. Now, I've looked and I can't find where the invert is in the menu system, but the same uh, shortcut that is in Photoshop works here in Photo P. And so Control I for invert. So go ahead and invert it. You can't even really tell that anything has happened to it. Now we're going to change the blend mode. And the blend mode that we want to use is Vivid Light. And you can see that it looks really quite blurred, but that there is still some texture there on her skin. Now that is a little bit too blurry. So we'll lower our opacity probably to about the 50% mark. You can see where it'll have to go to, but I'm gonna start at around that 50% mark. On that same layer now, add a black mask. So hold down your Alt key when you add the mask button. That'll give it a black mask. And now make sure that you are painting with complete white. And go get a brush. And make sure that you have a soft brush that's happening. And probably a fairly large soft brush to start with. So I'm going to Go about like so. And what you want to do is you want to paint now with that brush over top of her forehead where you want it to be softer. And I'm going to need to get a little bit smaller brush to get over in here. And do the same thing on her cheeks. Okay. And through her nose. And so you're painting all of the parts that you want to be softer. Now, obviously, you don't want to paint on her eyes and you don't want to paint over top of her lips. So you just want to go around on her forehead and on her cheeks. Do come underneath in her chin area as well to soften in through there. And what this does is because we've got that high pass and that blur combination on there, it maintains the texture. If we were going to just blur this, you would lose all of that skin texture. So you can see that her skin is a lot softer now. And uh, if you need to turn your opacity up or down a little bit more, then go ahead and play with that a little bit. You want it to look soft, but you want the texture to still be there. You don't want it to look fake as if we've just blurred it. And that is done at that point. So because we are done, go ahead and do that merge layer again. Control, Shift, Alt, and E. And we're going to call that merged layer now. Skin Soften Done. Make sure that you save this file. So save it as a PSD file so that I can see all of your layers. And then you can take that file and uh, paste it into the same portrait editing folder in the hand-ins Google Drive that I had shared with you.